Um. Wow. Uh. Hello, everybody. Goggles Tigercon here, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Last time we um we got a bicycle and found the absolute worst Pokemon I have ever encountered in my long history playing this particular generation of Pokemon. This episode, Riolu is evolving. Congratulations! Your Riolu evolved into Furry Bait! <laughs> Lucario, the Aura Pokemon. Aw, oh, look at the cute doggy! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? That's right, you're a good boy. You are. Jeez, I'm crossing into Tom, De Tom Dex territory. I don't want to do that. Okay, Aura Sphere, yes. Replace Ar replace um, Counter with Aura Sphere, because Aura Sphere, 80 power move, and it never misses. That's good. So Counter never came in handy for me. Okay, so, yeah, here we go. Actually, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. This episode, let me check the map to make sure. Okay, maybe not. Um. Nah, you know what? We're literally down the street from Turfield anyway. So what I say, we're gonna make this, a, a, we're gonna make this a max raid episode. We're gonna do some max raids here. So we have some max raid battles along over there, and since we have a bicycle now. It'll be a lot easier for us to get around here. So we're going to ride right over to this max raid over here. What it, what could it be, I wonder? God, that sounds so cheesy of me. Gosh. What could it be? It's a water type. So I'd say we invite others, maybe. And we'll go at it with our... Uh, We'll go at it with Mitzi. And as usual, I'll meet you guys when um, we get a full lobby or the timer runs out. Well, that didn't take very long. That, that took a very short amount of time. We have... Yeah, we have everything here. meet this. Ah, we got a couple of shiny show-offs. Ooh, shiny Guzzlord! I don't like shiny Guzzlord. It doesn't look right. This is gonna be easy pickings for us anyway. That's a good, that is a good thing about doing max ray battles at this point, this far in the game's life. Because max ray, it's basically free items. And I don't really, I'm only going to be catching the ones I need. So I'll just skip, I'll just skip around from, from raid to raid. And then once I start do, and then once I exhaust my raid supply here, I'll, um, We'll go over joining raids. Also, you can press the um, the left, the right stick to zoom out, which is better. I actually like this a lot more. So here's this one. Fighting type. I don't think we have anything we can use to counter this. So we will invite others. Ah, uh, spoiler alert, Daisy! Jeez! <laughs> it's a Tyrogue! I don't like Tyrogue very much. Ah, oh, Pink Dratini. Drapinky? Too bad it turns into a green Dragonite.
and done. I'll try to catch it, I guess. Come on, lucky numbers. Come on, lucky numbers. Roll them numbers. Roll the dice. We caught a Tyrogue! And that's not going on my party, because I already have a good enough fighting type. Tyrogue a nickname? No. Going to a box. And I will send it trading on the and I will send it trading on the way to the to the next um to the next to the next raid. Here's our trade right now. Akaza. Bye, Tyrogue. Have fun. What? Well, uh, I uh, eh, meh, meh. Caught in a level ball. <laughs> I don't want. I already have a Lucario. I already have a Lu. Bug and ground. Well, of course, I know exactly who I'm using for this one. So why are you taking the easy way, I hear some of you saying. Well, for one, easy items. Two, that doesn't mean everybody's going to start joining in every single raid I launch. He says as somebody jo joins in with a freaking necrosma. What the hell? Come on, Josh. Arcanine. Okay, acceptable. Here's another one. This guy's bringing in a grookey. And there's our full lobby. My head's starting to hurt. Maybe I should take a break from this. Man, everybody brings shinies into these raids. I guess it's the only time they can reliably show them off. To multiple people at once. Hey, look, I've got a... <laughs> look at it smiling underneath there. I never knew that it smiled like that. That's cute. Ninkata is weak. Yeah, sure, I guess. I'll throw, I'll throw a ball and see how far I get. How many shakes we get out of this one. God, I think I know what kind of headache I got, too. I think it's one of those dehydration headaches where you don't drink enough. Which is ridiculous, considering I have considering I have been drinking enough. Well, maybe it's a hunger headache. Because I know for sure I haven't been, been eating enough. Ninkata! The trainee Pokemon... <laughs> what? Ninkata... No... It's not a Ninkata Kata Nurgle Murgle Kata Nurmaga Armada The Armada Pokemon. Oh, there's one over here. For completely forgot that one. Unfortunately, it's through this grass here with Pokemon that can chase me. Okay, which one's this one? Fire and Bug. Okay. It's weak to rock. It's quad weak to rock, but I don't have rock. In fact, you know what? We're gonna take on this one alone. Cause I actually want to show this one off. It's 
Zillipede. Unfortunately, Torkoal, Torkoal's kind of working against us here. It's going to make my water attack weaker. Anyway, let's Dynamax and hit a Max Geyser. Fortunately, that will change the weather. I think it will. Angsty Teen Energy, go! Helping hands always helps the one who's going to do the most damage, I believe. I think they mistimed that animation there. Um, wow. Uh, okay, that was easy. A little too easy, really. And I don't want it. I don't want to catch this one, uh, honestly. Oh, wow, okay. Armorite or Dynite or even though we have no use for those. Also, I haven't been paying attention to the raid rewards. What have I been getting? A lot of experience candy. I'll give some of these to Mitzi. Because I want to get Mitzi up to a certain level. Okay, maybe you need all of them. There we go, level 24. But I just need one more level, and unfortunately I don't have enough to get that far. But I will take this ball back. Give, please. She's a quick ball for Missy. Ball fetch is such a useful thing. What the? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, apparently the raids have just reset. So we'll go over here and do this pink one. Oh, whoa, hello, goodbye. Grass and dragon. What? Um, sure. I don't know what Pokemon I want to use. I guess I'll just go in with, um, Dratini. It's a one star anyway. Grass and Dragon? What is this? That I don't... I do not recognize this boyo. Of course, there... Okay, that's Amp tox Toxtricity right there. It was either the epi the last episode or the episode before where I talked about which um, Toxtricity my Toxel will evolve into. It'll evolve into that one. Also, a fun fact, they actually fulfill different roles. So, Amp Toxtricity, it has um, six things on its on its belly, whereas Low Key has four. And if you know your musical instruments, you'd know that this would this would make um, this would make Amp Toxtricity the guitarist and Low Key Toxtricity the bass player. On, but oh, screw it, let's go. We got more than enough. So which one is this again? Ah, Applin. Applin. You know what? Maybe I will catch this one. Maybe I will catch, because I do want a grass type. Grass type is a type I don't yet have. So, yeah, we're just gonna, like, um, I guess, <laughs> I guess Twister. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, I mean, well, duh. Apple is weak. Throw a Pokeball. What do you? What are the odds? What do you think are the odds of me not catching this thing, huh? I'd say it's a near guarantee. I'm not gonna catch this thing because it's a Pokemon I want. But it's a cute dragon picture. How many shakes we get? We get one shake. Two shakes. Three shakes. And we've caught it, good. Apulin was caught. What should I put it in place of? Ooh! Well, there's our rare candy that I was kind of wanting. Also, Dragon Pulse. Apulin's data will be added. Would like to give Apulin a nickname? Um... You will be called... Apple... Applejacks. If I can just spell. I will add Applejacks to my party. You shall go in place of... Um... Lucario for now. Actually, no. Go in place of Sableye. So now that we've done that, let's give this rare candy to Mitzi and see what happens. Ooh, woo, what's this? Mitzi is evolving. Full tons. Probably one of the coolest dog Pokemon in the game. Boltund's data will be added to the Pokedex. Boltund, the dog Pokemon. Boltund is very popular in dog races. It is also one of the most loyal Pokemon you can find. Not too shabby, Gabby. So yeah, with, Mit with uh, Mitzi having evolved, I think... Actually, you know what? Whoop, hello! What? <laughs> There's Tail Whip and then Tail Slap. I am going to actually use one of these, um... TMs that I got. Oh, actually! This is a TR! So a T... So the difference between a TM and a TR is that a TR will actually break after one use. So basically it's a um it's a uh, early it's a an original TM. So we're going to teach Dratini Dragon Pulse instead of Twister. It's double the power it's double the power same ty same type of eb 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 eb. I gotta learn Dragon Pulse. So, we are going to make our way back to... Actually, you know what? We're just going to fly. What the heck? Yeah, we're going to fly all the way back to um, Turf Field. Because, well... We weren't really that far anyway. <laughs> His literally that we're we are a basically a straight line from where we were. Also, because Mitzi evolved and doesn't look like a Mitzi anymore, we're gonna change her name. What would I like the new nickname to be? Well of course we're gonna change the name from Mitzi to Blitzy. No, we're good. Also, we're gonna go over here and um, rest the Pokemon.
We hope to see you again. Don't but enough with the Wedgehurst station. Okay, hop on our bike and we'll just start riding. We'll get to, we'll get there we'll get there at some point. Trust me. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'll just use the rest of these candies I have on um on Toxel. On Tun Tun. Both 20. Well, still level 20. There's a Wamba Fett over there. Wamba Fett. So, who should get the top slot? Oop! I saw that. Don't think I didn't see that. Genius Feather. Slice increases the special attack base points of a single Pokemon. So these are basically like your, um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they are. That is not the menu I wanted. Who is getting the top slot here? Um... Hmm. Applejacks, you can go in the front. Whoa, hello. There's another thing over here. Swift Feather. Feathers actually, they increase your base stats, which I like. I don't use, I don't personally use them, but they're good to have. I saw these two as well. Health Feather, base HP, you know. I'm pretty sure I could just, like, walk right on by you, because I don't really want to fight you right now. I just want to get in here. And there's Oleana. Waifu. The big waifu. Alright, so now that we're here... Hello? Our sincerest apologies, the chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Please leave now! Okay, see you later, chairman. No need to rush off, I can still do more autographs! I'll even give you my Pokemon League card! Can I have your League card? Dang, look at the... How does she walk in those? Seriously. One thing I don't... One thing I've never been able to understand is how girls are able to walk in those things. Considering I can't even... Considering that I have the... Like... Now, okay. I have terrible balance. I can't even balance on a balance beam. I can't even balance on, like... Like a, a rock. And then you have girls like Oleana walking around and in those skyscraper shoes. Kinda hot, really. We need the support of our fans to keep doing what we're doing, chasing them off like that. Aren't you being a bit too harsh, Oleana? Fans are very important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work. For their sake. <laughs> no being social for you. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Oh, and you were... <laughs> I was endorsed by the Chairman! Who were you? Speed, sir. Oh, that's right, Bead. I dare say I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Will you be the one to win the champions, or perhaps it will be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion? It's obviously going to be me. It will prove your faith in me as well, placed chairman. I won't lose to anyone. Two lies in one semi-paragraph. It's not even one sentence. Anyway, I will be on my way now. Hello. Ah, your name was Chris, right? We were just talking about... He remembers my name, but not the dude he gave a Pokemon to and endorsed. Wow. Thrown under the bus. Bead is more like a speed bump at this point. A speed bump. Ha ha ha. I'm funny! I should go to prison for that pun. We were just talking about you, were you? I admit I was curious about Leon's research for endorsing you. Ah, I just had a good idea, as I tend to do. You're going to face Nessa soon, yes? You get a gym badge for her. Oh, from her. Oh, what a celebration. I'll have to get to know you a little better, after all. 
Chairman, we really should get going. Please do your best, for the sake of Galar's future. Chairman will be heading towards the, to this town seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join in there at once. Do not keep him waiting. And then he got that sound. Now, I don't like whisper ASMR, but that kind of sound? Oh boy, I do enjoy that sound. Now, look at all these people. Can I have an autograph, Chairman Rose? Jeez, talk about your simps. <laughs> so, here we are in Holbury. A bustling seaside port town of stuff. Ex special defense, which I'm never gonna use. I feel like I'm trying to make it a true shopping. Meow, meow, meow. I feel like time to turn so so. Another item over here. Sweet. A magnet. Powers. Boost the power of electric type moves. I know who's getting that. Magnet. You are getting this. Blitzy. Alright, so, we've made it to Holbury, we've got the next gym in our sights, and our beloved Oleana, well, my beloved Oleana, you stay away from my Oleana. Um, Oleana is waiting for us to defeat the gym leader, and, um, yeah, once we, next time in Pokemon Shield, we will do just that. We will, we will take on the gym leader. Maybe. See you guys then.